Welcome to Warrior Work. I'm Coach Hill. Today we're going to just go through kind of a catalog of seven basic hand drills from the Integrative Arts. I'm going to use Coach Ken here to come in. And we're going to start with hand drill number one. Uh, right foot back, right hand out. So the hand, when we're doing the hand drills, we put them in each other's faces. You can just kind of feel. And the first hand drill is an inward circle, outward circle, push down, punch. We call it a speed drill. It kind of relates to Kempo because in Kempo you have your cover theory, inward circle, outward circle, inward circle, outward circle. That also relates to Bagua, uh, walking the circle, where they're walking the circle in different positions. Uh, all we're doing is taking that big circle to a smaller circle, and it's again an inward circle. Outward circle is walking up the arm, left hand leaps over. This is like a, a horse that's locked into a gate, so I can't move, so I, I don't want to pull this back. I want it to go forward when it shoots. And then as soon as he does that, my hand's back up. So again, the key to the drill is as soon as your hand gets knocked down, you're getting your hand back up into that guard position, okay? So that's number one, it's a speed drill. From there, number two, we're gonna add, let's just show that from the other side real briefly, but again, of course, it's done both sides. So again, the speed drill. So the next one is a push down, and I'm going to throw a big palm hook. He's gonna double palm it, chop me in the neck. From that chop, I'm gonna bring my hand down, power circle, push down, punch. So again, he's gonna push it down, then throw the big hook. I double palm it, chop, and then he goes around. So again, we're going from the straight line to the hook. Inward circle to the outward circles. Small motions to bigger motions. And it gets your peripheral vision just to kind of get used to seeing both of those, both sides. So you have a speed drill, and then you have the big hook drill. Okay, and again, you're checking on structural integrity there. Number three, right side back. Normally we do like a Tai Chi Chi Sao here. We're gonna really do just a, a basic parry palm. So it would start off in the Chi Sao as two inward circles, uh, but we're gonna do it more as a parry palm drill right off. He palms my right shoulder. So again, what I'm doing is we wanna make sure that it's in that shoulder area. I'm going to turn my body a little bit just parry his hand off, my hand comes up to a crane, and I palm his shoulders. He parries mine off. Oh, we're gonna stay with just the parry. Oh. So instead of going to the outward circle, so it's gonna be parry, palm. So parry, so inward circle, inward circle. So we're not doing the outward circle at all right now, just this parry, palm circle. Okay. Inward circle, outward circle. It's good this used to turn in the body. So again, I can jam him here. So if I jam, I can move into all their different kinds of techniques. Uh, one of my favorite is, uh, from the Kempo system, for those of you who know Kempo, the sickle, which goes parry, you know, inward circle, upward circle, outward circle, to reverse hammer fist, to shoot the bow, to a straight palm bow, to a elbow. So when we're doing this one, one, okay, he does that. So we're playing that drill. Boom, I hit, there's the strike to the groin, there's the shoot the bow, here's the elbow, or it could be a palm hook or whatever you want, okay? Uh, so when we do that, when you do that drill, okay, we're going to, this is kind of a, a if you count it, one, two, three, four, you can do it on a four count, or you do it on a one count, one, two, one, two. When you're doing the drill, at some point in time, you want to switch sides. You want to insert a half beat to where now you go to that other shoulder, he parry, it becomes parry and palm to that drill. When you're doing the drill, you want to keep each other, uh, Honest, yeah, you want to keep each other honest. Yeah, try to find the right word. You keep each other honest and make sure they're actually hitting the shoulder uh, because that way you're making sure your structure is good, but at the same time, you're learning to move it out of the way. Because if you don't do that, then you'll start naturally kind of missing because you're, you're getting used to where the pattern is going. Okay, from there, he's gonna throw a big hook, right hook. I'm gonna do a outward circle and a pump. He throws the big left hook, outward circle pump. I'm gonna throw a big right hook, outward circle pump. Outward circle palm. So we're going, again, we're using both the inward circles, outward circles. Outward circle palm, outward circle palm. So that way, again, depending upon when he puts his hands up, if my hand is outside of his, I'm gonna use my inward circle. If my hand is inside of his, I'm gonna use my outward circle, okay? So learning to understand where your positioning is is very key in whether you're using an inward circle or an outward circle as a defensive movement. So number one was the speed drill, number two was the inward outward hook, number three are these inward circle palms, outward circle palms, 
Number four goes back to somebody like the first drill, but instead of doing the inward hour circle, we're going to go to a trapping hand. Now, trapping hand, I want to use the I want to use the pad of the hand here. In reality, I'd use the knuckles, but the knuckles into these three nerves hurt, and they start making it to where you're not going to get your opponent to do much after a while. So we use the pad. I also want to move the hand off the angle of my face just a little bit as I trap. So I've got trap, then I come off just a little bit, and I come around and I trap with both hands. I'm trapping with these two fingers, push down, punch. So trap, outward circle, push down, punch. Trap, I trap right away, outward circle, punch. This trapping gets into, and again, these are all level one drills. Uh, this trapping gets into all sorts of things when it comes to grabs, punches, pushes, and it can be used with any tool. I can use this with a, a, a cell phone, a cup, any of those things. Okay, so trap, catch, catch. So again, trapping drills, and I can go back to my speed drill. Okay, or the trapping drill. Okay, number four, so we have speed, outward uh, hook, the peri palm, trapping. This next one I'm gonna trap right away, and I'm gonna go to a trap, into the, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Next one is going to be a, a trap here, pulling the hand out of the way, and we call this a monkey attack. It's a double palm strike. Could be, if you watch the blind it could be like a hammer, hammer, because a budding strike, okay? In the drill, we use open fingers, a finger flick or finger whip. I go here, and I would be going to the head. He catches this one with a hand. From there, he just comes right around with his circle, and then he's going to come with the outside trap, wrist, wrist lock, wrist throw, catch, here you go, and come around. So, uh, so catch, yep. monkey attack there, trap it, boom, boom. There you go, and then come around, good. So again, there he goes, just like that. Come back around, I can come around, or he can come back around, either one. Because this one, so I can come back, uh, in the beginning of the draw, I wanna leave it out there, so that way I'm making sure he's blocking it. If he's not blocking, I'm just gonna be touching him on the side of his head or on the side of his neck to let him know, hey, you gotta block that because that could become a back fist or it could become a hammer fist or it could become a chop okay or any one of those things so that's why i leave it out there uh, but again once you get comfortable with that they're, they're blocking really well okay then i can bring it back and i can do the drill so a number of ways to just play with this drill you can bring it back or come around okay the next one is a another type of trap it's a hand out here again i'm going to trap the hand into my shoulder i'm going to pull it into my shoulder okay sort of like i did when i did the when he did the palm, and I did this, I jammed it, okay? Well, in this case, it's a fist, and I'm gonna pull it in my shoulder. As I pull in my shoulder, I'm gonna just take the upper circle of my hand and place it underneath, between his bicep, tricep, okay? In that brachial nerve area. In reality, I might use that knuckle. You don't wanna do that, really, because you can damage that nerve, and it's very painful. So I just use this kind of tapping hand. I'm gonna pull it in, From there, my hands are going to stay, this hand's going to stay on the inside, this hand's on the outside, and I'm going to just turn my body, becomes an arm bar, and then from there I'm going to push down and punch. Okay, so I catch it, trap it, hit it. So I'm going to pull on the arm here, this is where the arm folds naturally, breaking the balance down and in. I'm using these two fingers predominantly for the traps and the pull downs. Okay, so again, pull in here, arm bar, catch. Let's change the angle on that one. So again, the hands on my face here, I'm coming under one. Again, just catching. This is coming down, this is coming in, I'm turning my body to. I'm not overextending this. I could take it all the way down. Okay, I'm just doing this to snap. Just, and again, I don't really want to snap it, but you get that idea. And then pull it in, three. One, two, three, okay? And then the next one we're gonna do, so we have, again, just to review really quickly, we have the inward outward circle punch, we have the inward circle hook, we have the parry palm, and we have the hook palms. Then we have the trap with the monkey attack, the double, or double budding. Then we have the trap and catch. And the next one we're going to do, we have the hands in the face, we're going to do similar type movement, instead of coming here, I'm going to punch the body. I'm going to punch the body, and then I'm going to come with the arm bar and the catch. So again, punch the body, arm bar, catch. Again, there's all sorts of slews of these, 
bring it back to the speed drill. And then there's all lots of, we're gonna start eventually adding in left hand inserts. So instead of doing the, by doing the inward outward push down punch, instead of doing the push down, okay, I do a punch down, okay? His defense for that is he can either trap it with both hands or he can turn his body slightly other way. When he turns his body slightly other way, it's actually trapping my arm and locking it up, okay? Then he just comes back around the outward. And now I'll actually punch that hand. Uh, then we're doing everything on the other side of the body. So again, all these drills can be done inside or outside, right side, left side. Uh, you're not locked into a particular pattern. Once you learn the pattern, you want to break the pattern. So when we talk about when his right hand's up here, again, we're working on the outside, but I could be doing the same drill inside as well. The key is we did the inward circle by itself with a palm. We did the outward circle by itself with a palm. Okay. We did the punch by itself with a trap. We're just putting them all together, inward, outward circle, push down, punch. Because again, if he puts both hands up, I might just do a push down and a punch right away. Okay? So again, lots of nice drills, lots of fun drills you can work with. That's really one through seven, one through eight different drills. But again, that's sort of just the base level. From there, you can just build and build and build. And we'll do some more of those uh, later on in Integrative Arts Basic Hand Drills. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.